A 188 US bill is selling at a discount which would result in the highest yield. So during the corporate finance and concessions we've learned a method of or an analogy of three mistakes that we always start with holding period yield. When we make no mistake that means when we use all the 365 days we use the compounding the yield that we get is effective annual yield. Then when we make the first mistake and the first mistake is to that we do not compound but we use 365 days then the yield that we get is the bond market yield. When we make two mistakes, two mistakes of no compounding and using 360 days we get money market yield and when we use all the three mistakes which is no compounding 360 days and keeping the base or the denominator as face value we get bank discount yield. So we can clearly see that the highest of these is of course going to be effective annual yield because it uses compounding. The second highest is going to be the bond market yield because it uses 365 days and the third one would be money market. The lowest would be bank discount because it takes a higher denominator. So in this case the answer is option A.